netvital.ca NAS or SAN? Part 2 SAN, Storage Area Network It is a specialized network that provides high-speed block-level access to data storage. Unlike NAS, which provides file-level access to data, SANs are designed to provide direct access to individual storage devices such as hard drives, solid-state drives, or tape drives. SAN typically consists of a dedicated network of servers, storage devices, and switches that are optimized for high-speed data transfer. The servers in a SAN are often connected to the storage devices via fiber channel, a high-speed networking technology that allows for low latency and high bandwidth data transfer. SANs are often used in enterprise environments where high-speed data access is critical, such as in data centers, financial institutions, and scientific research facilities. They offer several advantages over other storage solutions, including High Performance SANs are designed to provide high-speed access to data, which can improve application performance and reduce latency. Scalability SANs can be easily expanded to accommodate growing storage needs, making them a flexible solution for organizations with changing storage requirements. Data Availability SANs often include built-in redundancy and failover capabilities, which can help ensure that data is always available and minimize the risk of data loss. Centralized Management SANs provide a centralized management interface for storage resources, making it easier to manage and allocate storage capacity across multiple servers and applications. Overall, SANs provide a powerful and flexible storage solution for organizations with demanding storage needs. However, they can be complex and expensive to implement, and may require specialized expertise to manage and maintain. What is disadvantage of storage area network, SAN? Complexity. SANs can be complex to set up and configure and may require specialized expertise to manage and maintain. This can make them more difficult and costly to implement than other storage solutions. Cost. SANs can be expensive to implement, especially for smaller organizations or those with limited budgets. In addition to the cost of hardware, SANs often require specialized software and networking equipment, which can add to the overall cost. Single point of failure. Because SANs rely on a centralized storage infrastructure, they are vulnerable to single points of failure. If a critical component of the SAN fails, it can result in data loss or downtime. Limited flexibility. SANs can be less flexible than other storage solutions, such as network attached storage and AS. Adding or removing storage devices can be more difficult and time consuming and may require specialized expertise. Limited support for non blocked data. SANs are designed to provide block level access to storage devices, which can limit their ability to support non blocked data such as files and documents. This functionality is typically provided by other storage solutions like Network Attached Storage NAS. Overall, while SANs provide a powerful and flexible storage solution for organizations with demanding storage needs, they may not be the best choice for all organizations. Considerations such as cost, complexity, and flexibility should be carefully weighed when evaluating whether SAN is the right solution for your organization.